Did the Evansburg Homecoming 5K this morning. Uh, finished fifth overall, second in my age, with time of 18.33. It was a decent morning, a little rainy off and on. Uh, started to come down a little bit harder after I finished. Uh, but it was sprinkling a little bit during the race. Nothing too exciting though. Um, they have a 5K and a 15K. I just did the uh, 5K because I'm going to do the dual thon um, here in like an hour. Decent crowd this morning. Uh, about 69 degrees now. It was probably that about the start. It was on the Ghost Town Trail up here in Evansburg. Just a little bit farther up, maybe like a tenth from where we usually start at the pavilion, but we finished at the pavilion like we normally do. Um, the 15K actually starts a little bit farther up the trail um, than we do. I didn't know that coming in. So as the 5K was like we were doing the 5K, I was just trying to uh, stay with the lead pack a little bit. And wait and see for the second half of the race how things were going to play out if they were going to keep going or make the turn but then I saw the lead couple kids who I stood no chance of catching made the turn so I sort of just took it easy after that I had splits like 533 6 flat and 640 when my uh, three one mile splits I felt pretty good on the way out. My legs were going pretty good. It felt like I was running a nice, comfortable pace, even though it was 5.33, which is a little bit fast for me. Um, but I wanted to stay with them and see what they were doing. And then the second half of the race, turn it on uh, if I had a shot at winning. But then, like I said, is I saw them turn and I was like, shit have no chance of winning so don't use your energy save it for the next race so that's what I did again found out after the race that 15 started before so those kids were in the 5k like everybody who I started with the starting line was in the 5k I wish I knew that when I started because I would have took it a lot easier probably ran like a 20 minute 5k instead of like an 1833 or less But that's what happens. You don't pay attention and not really uh, know. I did pass one or two people on the way out. And then on the way back, they passed me back up after I started taking it easy. Other than that, there's really not too much to say. Um, I did use the lead couple kids to run faster uh, with some free, free speed. I was just zoning in on their backs so I could catch them um, and when I did that I was definitely gaining on them so it was working but I just didn't have the legs or the ability to catch like the winners because I think they dropped like a 16 low 16 something maybe like a 16 11 I think is what I saw which is a minute faster than my PR so I stood no chance so the right move was to pull back today a little bit um, and save some energy since I wasn't going for time, I was just going to uh, try to win and actually have fun at this uh, dual thon coming up. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, it was just a pretty basic out and back 5K. Uh, benefits the Central Cambria cross country team. Um, so it's nice to support them. Fun crowd this morning, nice crowd. Um, good mix of adults and youth I mean overall I'm still happy with fifth um, I knew I could have probably battled for third if I really wanted to um, but I wasn't catching top two so I was just like alright just hang on to an age group today um, and save your legs for the dual thon and deer flies tomorrow um, so that I think that's about it um it just felt good 
I just didn't get into no killer instincts, but my killer instincts wouldn't have mattered. Um, but yeah, I got a Dutch apple pie in my back seat because that's what they do for awards. Um, I think everybody got an apple pie today because they had enough to cover all the ages and stuff, so that was kind of nice. And that, I guess that's about it. Do another one after the dual thon. Maybe it'll be more exciting. Um, not. Oh well. On to the next one.